Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the One Chitafe Podcast. I'm your host, this week's Herder. Er, this week, we got a new Pokemon revealed for Scarlet and Violet. This one having pretty heavy resemblance to Diglett, but it's not a Paldean form of Diglett. It's actually called Wiglet. This little guy is a garden yield Pokemon, and it's pure water type that either gooey or rattled for the for its ability. First of all, I really like how they handled this reveal. Like the way they revealed it was basically in a in a faux seminar and like the commentary during the video was brilliant i didn't see the whole thing but i uh, during when we got to see wiglet even the commentary was like wait is that a diglet no it's a new pokemon yep i really liked how re i really liked how they revealed it as well it's so cool like I, I love how Pokemon's been getting so creative with their with the reveals on especially with their games on the Switch. Um it's been really great marketing. Yeah, definitely. Like although that's like the third Scarlet Vile update we've gotten in September. Which is I mean, I, I'm all for it. Yeah, like granted the trailers have not been super extensive with information. Like we still know like less than twenty new Pokemon in the game. Yes, you don't have to reveal everything. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking at you, Sun and Moon trailers. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the don't small... talk about those trailers, honey. <laughs> like like this, uh, these small drips of information I will gladly take. And I really like how this Pokemon is literally based on a garden eel. That is so cool. Yeah, Wiglet is adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. I'm the... surprised that, that they gave Diglett, like, more love past Alola too. Yeah, like I thought, because like at first glance, before I knew what the name was, I was like, "Oh God, are they doing? Are they giving another Pokemon a second regional variant again?" But yeah. no. But I'm just gonna say it. Wiglet is better than Alola Diglet. Oh, miles better. <laughs> miles better. Like you Alola Diglet is so better. I know, right? We don't talk it's about Alola Dug Trio either. <laughs> It's literally just a diglet with hair. A little and, apparently, little now. and apparently that hair gives it the steel type. Yeah, what? 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 <laughs> extra, drill, extra drill and steel is cold. They want their typing back. <laughs> <laughs> and before Wiglet's evolution, just called Wug Trio. Oh my god. Granted, I did not made up, I didn't make up that joke. I saw that joke on Twitter and I just wanted to repeat it. Oh, okay. Wing Trio or Wug Trio? Uh, I think it's Wug Trio. I don't know. Wouldn't Wing Trio make more sense? I don't know. Like, yeah, like why would it go from Wiglet to- Why would it go from Wiglet to Wug Trio? I don't know, that's Game Freak. <laughs> Whatever. You have, ask, you have to ask Game Freak about that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Also, the memes have been incredible with this Pokemon. <laughs> I love the I love the SpongeBob meme, especially. It was an Alaskan bulwark. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because it looks exactly like it. Oh my god, I cannot unsee that. Also, the <laughs> also all the obligatory Among Us memes as well. God. And don't forget the other the, don't forget the other ones. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, no, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're referring to, though. Okay, good. <laughs> it's the internet. Uh, of course it is. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah I just, just found this. Oh, let me see. What, what am I looking at? Oh, uh, the memes channel. Oh, I can't, I can't play the clip, because uh, it, it's probably copyright. <laughs> oh, no, I, I saw that already. Yeah, I've seen that, too. <laughs> That's what's been stuck in my head ever since I watched that. It's so fitting. It is. It is. And then there was this other clip that I saw of someone doing like voiceovers for freaking Wiglet. Yes, and, I saw that. And, like, my name is Wiglet. <laughs> and like, I don't know if this is a fair comparison, but like the first thing that popped in my head was, oh my god, this is giving me vibes of, uh, who's the guy? Um, Gilbert Gottfried, I believe it is. Wait, who is that? A pretty, pretty famous comedian. Oh, maybe. What was his name? Gilbert Gottfried, I believe it was. Never heard of him. Huh. 
I I wanted to send the message about that when I uh, when one of you guys sent that in to on Discord the other day. But I could. I think it was me. I think it was me. I think it was it. you actually. Yeah. But I completely forgot to uh, mention it. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, uh, Wiggly can actually uh, pop out of its uh, pop out of the sand a little bit more to uh, like reach for food in the ocean and whatnot. And yep, and it and it wiggles, hence the name Wiglet. And also, apparently, this thing has a really <laughs> good sense of smell, as it can pick up scents from over sixty feet or eighteen point two meters away. Holy shit! Well, well, that's handy. Yeah. Uh, hi, Andy. Oh my what? god. Wait, I don't get it. Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> no, I seriously don't get it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my god. Whatever. Anyway. Anyway. I think this thing is gonna become park ground upon evolving. This thing looks like pure. Yeah. This, this thing looks like park ground. Yeah, I'd say so. Water like, ground, huh? Yep, another gastrodon. Yay! Swamp bird and gastrodon call. And quacksire call. They're typing back. It's speak yes. it's speak speaking of quacksire, where is this Paldean form? So true. Like, we still only know about one Paldean form. And the game's almost out. Dang. We're like a month and a half away from the game. I mean, I don't mind, I don't mind uh, finding them out for myself if they don't reveal any more. Yeah, same here, but, like, I would like to know, like, one or two At more. Least, yeah, no, that's definitely fair. It could be a new evolution. Like, that, too. That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah, good like, point. like Wiglet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I forgot to mention this uh, when the last big share came up. Uh, rip our hopes of a Paladin Tropius. No. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tropius. Yeah, at least it's in the game, though, which is good to see. Yep. Yeah. So, I guess, uh, if I were to think of other Pokemon, I wanted to get Paldean Informs off the bat. Uh, I think... I don't know if Zipstrika would be a good candidate for one, even though I love that Pokemon, but... I don't think it's gonna get one. Um, and also Lapras, too, even though it just got a Gigantamax form in... Gen 8, but, like, we don't know how Game Freak likes to pander Gen 1. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Pretty much. You're right. And also, as of when this episode is going up, the Shiny Eternatus event has ended from North America, but it looks like it's going to be coming to Europe as well. Oh, cool. Hooray! Waited, like, five months for it. <laughs> now we can finally get one in Europe. Yeah, uh, if I go back to Serbia here. Alright, so the countries that are in Europe that are going to be getting it are, so far, are Finland, Norway, Denmark. Then uh, we got we got Poland, followed by the UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, and France. But no word about Sweden yet. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Like, I tried to, I tried to go get... A shiny Eternity code from GameStop uh, earlier this week, and they had ran out of codes by the time I got there, like a few days prior, which I was sad about. Yeah. And apparently, uh, a lot of our stores have not gotten a lot of codes to begin with, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah. But I didn't walk out empty-handed as I got myself an Ashima plush. <laughs> uh, congrats, I guess. All's well ends well, I guess. But I have it with me on my desk right now. So cute. Um, moving on from that, as uh, as uh, the Pokemon Company collaborated with Ed Sheeran to uh, release a new song called Celestial, and this song is going to be featured in Scarborough and Violet. I'm actually. Wild. I'm, I am you know when I see that? Let me find it if I can find it. Yeah, I imagine that the song is probably going to be one of the end credits songs. Um, because I've listened to it already, and it definitely gives off credits vibes. Yes, you know what I say to that, Kyle? Oh wait, I just posted it on memes. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I meant to post it on the non voice channels. My bad. Behold! The I don't care when I talk! <laughs> well, might as well copy and paste that for the non voice channel. <laughs> Okay, no, but in all seriousness, though, I just don't care about the song. That's fair. I personally kind of liked it. Uh, the music video, though, was really good. It has some really neat animation. That I'm not I'll give it point. I'll, uh, I'll oh. give it points. Oh no, honey! What was I going to say? Welcome oh. back. Thanks. I'll give it bonus points for at least having some nice animation and. Hey, at least it looked not kind of nice. Yeah, definitely. Like, especially near the end, it was so good. Like, I, I only watched one minute of it, so I didn't watch the ending. Yeah, like, just check out the ending after we're done. Because, it's like, that's the, that was the best part of the video for me. I might give it a second chance, so... Yeah, we jumped in. That <laughs> that's fair. Reconsider that decision. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's that's still really cool. Uh, I really like the fact that yeah, I have hmm. it's so interesting to see Pokemon collab with so many music artists in the last in the past year and a half. Like, I feel like Ed Sheeran's kind of random though, but whatever. Yeah, it did feel a little random. I mean, I mean so was so Katy Perry, honey. <laughs> I understand Katy Perry a bit. Yeah, Katy Perry made a little sense, but like. Nah, Ed Sheeran just kind of feels a little too mm. random for me. Like, to, to be, Bear, yeah. Like, if I'm going to be honest, I never even heard of Ed Sheeran prior to uh, the song. I have heard of I I listen to his stuff. I know, like, two of his songs. Well, it's better than wow, me. that's great. I only know zero of them. <laughs> his, his other songs that I've listened to aren't bad. In my opinion, at least. Interesting. I have only heard the name, but not the songs. Gotcha. Yeah. This this is the first one I listened to, and yeah, I find it. I think boring. I think the other songs are better. That's fair. <laughs> Makes sense. To I you. might have to, I might have to give it a second chance. All right. If you have heard the song "Shape of You," then that's by him as well. I have only heard the title, but not the song. Yeah, this the song is catchy. I'll check it out when I feel like it. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Um, so, uh, moving past that, as uh, we're, we can finally get to a topic that Honey discuss, uh, suggested a month ago. Been, it's been 3,000 years. <laughs> it's been 6,000 years. <laughs> it's been over 9,000 years! Uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I am so <laughs> It's over 9,000! Okay, okay, okay. So, right. so the topic that... What? 9,000? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what were you saying, Kyle? Let's give it together, folks. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the, the topic that Honey suggested was, what do and don't we have in common with our favorite characters from the Pokemon anime? All right. You want to go first? I'd love to volunteer first, All right, if you go don't for mind. It. All right, okay, go for it. I want Jita to crush me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to read what I have in my notes. Okay. Okay, sure. so like, the ultimate character, Dawn, of course. So like, what I have in common with her is like, Dawn is pretty optimistic and cheerful, and I feel like I'm pretty much the same way. I always try to look things on the positive side, you know? I don't really like being pessimistic too much because it kind of brings me down and I just don't vibe with that sort of negativity and then there's also the fact that she looks up to her mom and I feel like that's really relatable to me because I also look up I also look up to my mom as well 
And then she also has moments where obviously she struggled with self-confidence and just believing in herself. And that is very relatable to me. And she also likes baking, which I'm also a big fan of. Though I'm not that good at it, I feel like. But yeah, those are the things I feel like I have in common with her. And now for what I don't have in common with her. Okay, so like, Dawn seems like very outgoing and she kind of radiates extrovert vibes. Which I am definitely not. Because yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely an introvert. But uh, she's also pretty girly. Like, she always wears pink. Uh, she always wears, you know, those contest dresses. And while I'm also into girly things, I don't feel like I'm into them as much as Dawn is. If that makes sense. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And then there's also the little arc in the beginning of DP where she was pretty overconfident and just full of herself, which is something that I've never done, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. And that is pretty much what I have for Dawn. Okay. Um, awesome. now I'm going to move on to my next character, which is May. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so this one was pretty tough because I was having a difficult time finding what I don't have in common with her. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, do, I did find one thing. But anyway, so like, for stuff that I do have in common with her, May loves to travel and eat, which is a mood because who doesn't like food, people? So Come on. Real? And just like May, I also love traveling. It's super fun. I just like... I love the feeling of it. It just puts me in a happy mood. And getting to see new things, that's always pretty interesting to me. And then another thing I have in common with her, she's, she's not that girly compared to Dawn. That's something that I personally relate to. Like, she can just wear a top and some shorts, and that's pretty much how I dress on a daily basis. So that is my vibe. And then she also has an annoying sibling, which everyone with a sibling can relate to. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is 100% true. This, this is May. This is what I have in common. <laughs> okay, now for the one thing that I found that I don't have in common with her. She has a bit of a temper, which I'm pretty sure I don't have. <laughs> And that's that's all I could find. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> but yeah, those those are my characters. Okay. And what I have in common with them and what I don't. Alright. You wanna go next, Sam? Because I still need to write my stuff down. <laughs> I mean yeah, I can go if you guys want. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Alright, so like with Hannes, let's start with Dawn, obviously. Um, what I have in common with her is she, um, she loves to dedicate uh, her work 100% and I can, I am kind of that when I feel inspired. We both, I also think that um, she, want, she wants to like reach to I have come in with like things that she wants to, for example, like reach, reach, go for like 100% if she wants to, and I can do that as well. Um, I have also like come in with her like when she feels. I don't want to get too personal, but when she feels depressed, I feel that where she's coming from. Definitely. Yeah. And, and like, we both just, we both just, just want to, just want to work, just want to try to work harder. You know? uh, what else is there to say where I have in common with her? Well, I got stuck already. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, this this question was tough. 
I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you either. Yeah. I feel like when it comes to I feel I it feels a bit of a bit of an irony that I have things that I think more of in common with her than things that I have in common with her. Oh, okay. For like for example, she is she's into fashion and <laughs> she likes design and stuff. I'm not into that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That is and fair. Then, yeah, and then there's also the stuff uh, like you said, honey. Like she's very girly and into stuff like that. I mean, yes. I'm a boy, so I <laughs> I, I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then there's the whole, you know, dress pink thingy. I mean, yeah. Well, I love pink as a color, but <laughs> I don't recall dressing myself as pink. <laughs> well, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I don't know what else to say with Dawn. I mean, I'm, I love her and all. I still see her as inspiration, but. It's very, very hard to talk about your favorite sometimes. Yeah. No, that's definitely fair. I felt like with May, I can talk more about her, what I have coming with her, than I do with Dom. And those are, um, well, like what Hani said, we're both food lovers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we can both be lazy bums too, although <laughs> lazy, lazy is not what I describe May, but she does have a bit of a trait when it comes to that. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yep. And then this might surprise you. Um, I don't want to say that she's an airhead by any means, but... Sometimes we do forget stuff we just want to do in our everyday life. Oh yeah, we all have moments of like random stupidity, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah. That happens to the best of us. Yeah. So yeah. Now for the uncommon one. This one might This one is the opposite of what you said, honey, and that is being adventurous. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I'm not so. I'm not much of a fan when it comes to traveling. Holy fair. That's fair. Yeah, I just. I'm not a big fan of that song, but I instantly think of "Home" by Daughtry. No, I don't know that song. Well, let's just say, let's just say you only think I want to go home now every time. Uh, you go home. Uh, okay. I get it. Nah, nah, I get it. Nah, let's just say home sweet home is the best accurate response. Yeah. For me personally. Alright. Um, that's with me. Next is Iris. And Iris! Cool. Yeah, and what I have in common with her is, um, uh, we both hate school, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's in all seriousness, yeah, no, yeah, no, in all seriousness, though, um, I can 100% identify with her because, or at least with her, or at least with her struggles when it comes to school, because school is so fucking boring, and I, <laughs> I, every time I hear the word school, I just want to die of boredom. <laughs> <laughs> God, how fucking boring it was. God, I such relate. A, such a mood. <laughs> I know. So the next one is sarcasm. <laughs> and sometimes, like with her, like sometimes we both we both can be too sarcastic with our responses and can be Sometimes we're just done of things we just don't want to see. And like with Iris, I also love dragon types. Alright. Because who do because who doesn't love dragon types? Fairy types. Haha, <laughs> fairy go brr. 
Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> I can find that. <laughs> no, of um, Oh, I just forgot one another uncommon thing with Dawn. Okay. okay. All right, let's hear. Um, in the earlier episodes, Dawn likes to fiddle with her hair a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, with the, you know, with the whole, oh no, my hair! Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I also do not care about my hair. So, I also do not yeah. have that in common with her. <laughs> yeah. So it's, so it's like, um, sorry, Dom. I guess we're both, I guess but, we're both. But, I will say, that her yeah. hair gets frizzy. And when my it's hair gets true. frizzy, it's annoying, so I relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll give her one credit, though. We both we both do get bedheads a lot. And I yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I get where she's coming from that, but, like, I'm too lazy to fix my hair sometimes. Mode. Same. <laughs> Same, especially for me, because, like, I have long hair. And I'm required to comb it, and I'm like, Ugh, I'll just tie it in a bun, whatever. <laughs> yep. Even even combing your hair sounds like a real pain to me personally. Yeah, especially for me because it gets tangled a lot, and it's annoying. Oh, same. Yeah, I have curly hair, so like every time I try to comb back. Uh, well, that's another calm destroyed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, uncommon with Iris. Um, hmm, this this one was tough because I couldn't come up with anything. So the closest thing I'm gonna say is um, I don't have jungle hair. <laughs> Fair, I guess. And, yeah, and I don't take... I don't know. Uh, I don't live in the woods, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not much of a... jungle girl swinging on trees as much as her, I guess. Me neither. I found that quite dangerous, actually. <laughs> I 100% get where Dawn was coming from. <laughs> She's yeah. on that line with Iris. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next is... Oh, you will not believe this, but Serena. Serena? Oh, I did okay. not expect that. Alright, let's hear it. It's actually one thing. Okay. Alright. Um, mommy problems. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you will not hide, you will not um, hear how many times like I, I get where she's coming from like sometimes your mom just I don't know just try to put pressure on you and that's that can get a little annoying sometimes. Oh that's relatable. Yeah, we, all, no, we all have that, that one parent that does that. That is relatable. Yeah. And that's it with Serena. Okay, next. Wow. Alright. Um, Tracy. Ooh, okay. Okay. Tracy's interesting because I do have some common with him, and that is definitely... Now, while I don't do it as much anymore, but it's writing and painting. Ah, okay. Since he likes to paint a lot, um, while well, I'm not as, I wouldn't say I'm not nearly as good of a painter as he is, but I can see the passion coming from him. Oh, and also writing too, but there's that. Yep. And I think that's it for me. I felt, yeah, I felt this question was a lot tougher for me. All right. So, I guess you can go for now, Kyle. Alright. Just getting one last note written down, because I just thought of my fourth character. Okay. 
I'm gonna go and get go ahead and start with Dawn and a lot of the points that you guys mentioned, I could pretty much agree with most of them. Like uh like what I have in common with her, like she's I'm also a, a pretty optimistic person and also uh whatever like whatever especially early on when uh Paul was talking smack to Ash, she got really defensive uh for Ash. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah that. And I and I'll try to uh, and I'll try to uh, defend uh, You uh, think you're funny, don't you? Yeah. Listen here, mister. <laughs> Insert more throwing want to throw hands against Paul. <laughs> All I will say, I like she is not afraid about conflict, which I am opposite of. <laughs> like like I am so afraid of conflict. That I just try to avoid it altogether, and uh, also, and like and like both of you said, I, I like like you said, Sam, she is a, like a fashionist, and I am not. <laughs> <laughs> and I also do not care about my hair at all, <laughs> except when it gets thick and curly. Because when my hair grows, it gets really curly. You too, huh? Yeah. Flashback to, I've seen it too. I've seen it too. <laughs> yeah, like the freaking afro that was growing during quarantine. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> <laughs> so like most of the time, I don't even bother with just brush. I don't even bother brushing my hair in the morning. I just do it after my shower. And then I just wear a hat whenever I leave the house every day. I'm the same mood. So I'm just kind of like, I just like putting the hat on whenever yep. I'm out. Yep. <laughs> I don't even have Ash written down. That's one thing I have in common with him. <laughs> Alright, uh, and also, like you said, Honey Dawn is very outgoing, which I am very much opposite of. <laughs> yeah. I am, I am such a big introvert and just really shy and shy. Like, it, it's funny. Right. Like, and like my introvert side side really showed when uh, I had lunch, but I was, when I was waiting for my lunch to get delivered earlier today. This is gonna be where I want, but like, but like, but I, but the person that was delivering my food dropped off my my lunch. They were still in the driver. And I'm like, please leave, please leave, please leave, please leave. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that is a mood though. But like, but like, the worst thing is is when they say. Enjoy your food, and then you're like, you too. <laughs> that happened to me last. That happened to me last week. No way. <laughs> that happened to me last week. Oh <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, why the hell did I say that as I was walking back inside the house? <laughs> like the amount. And, of like, and like they never say anything, but like you just think back to what you said, and, and you're like, gosh, you're such a freaking idiot. Yes, save here. <laughs> <laughs> that is littering me as well. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh my god, why did I say that? I'm a dumbass. It also happens in the movies. Like, there was one time that a person was giving me the tickets to a movie and they were like, enjoy your movie. And I was like, oh my gosh, thanks, you too. <laughs> like, bro. Like, it's, it's such a natural instinct. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, you hear someone yeah. complimenting you and you want to compliment them back because it's, yeah, it's exactly. a nice gesture. <laughs> yeah. but, but the amount of embarrassment you get when that happens is just, ah. Oh. Alright. Uh, I can't think of anything else for Dawn uh, right now because, like, you guys said a lot of what I was going to say, too. So, okay. So, I'll move yeah. on to uh, my next character, who is Lily. Really? Like she's she's just been like a top tier character for me pretty much ever since we saw her back in Sun Moon Games in the anime. Like Absolutely. Like uh much like Lily, I'm also really nervous but also uh open to trying new things, although I'm very slow at doing that, but <laughs> Like I, I am never opposed to uh, trying something that interests me, and also why, uh, and like for most of the son of an anime, Lily really struggles with a childhood trauma, which was her fear of touching Pokemon, and I relate to that because I, 
I'm pretty much a I, pr I pretty much have a phobia of bees pretty much ever since I was a kid, and I've tried several times to overcome it ever since I uh, like back when I was in school, and it's it's never worked. Like I always freak out whenever I even when a bee is in sight, I don't even have to be caught near it, and I get anxious as all hell. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I think we can all agree about that. He sucks. Yeah, they I, do. Yeah, I get that they're important, but, like, don't put me near them. Same. Don't, like, don't, I let, don't, me just, I don't, have, don't let me I see don't one. A, I don't even have a phobia, but, like, if a bee is near me, like, I, I just want to get away as soon as possible. Yeah, like, any form of buzz in the here, I think of, like, oh god, did a bee get in the house or something? Yeah. I freak out every time I hear or see those damn bees. Yeah. Like I said, Not I, the I, bees! Yeah, like, I even just seeing one, even on even on a screen, it's enough to, to get me a little nervous, and I'm like, god, please no. And, like, especially... Uh, some of those gifts where the bees are flying directly to the screen. God, it's terrible. Anyway, that's uh, that, 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 that's uh, that's irrelevant for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else I I have in common for for Lily, but uh, one thing that I definitely don't have in common with her is she's being good at the shopping, and and even though I also. Really is freaking rich. Yeah, obviously. And we're not, so like that's the biggest yeah, thing we like don't that... have in common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the freaking yeah. mansion. I... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, she read books too. Um, oh yeah. I don't like reading books. I don't mind them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of reading it either. I like reading on the internet, though. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it depends on. I guess, I, I guess it just depends on what you're reading. Exactly. Like it's so weird. Like uh, I do. I don't like reading, but I love writing. Same. Same. Like it's it's so ironic. Like I was like I just finished up a pro shipping thing uh, earlier this week for pro shipping day on Wednesday, but like I. Oh yeah. Which, uh, shameless plug. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Well, she has, like... She has, like, an entire bookshelf full of books, and I'm like, I can never yeah. read that book. <laughs> like, she, she is the, the definition of a bookworm. Yep. And I'm not. I agree. <laughs> Neither am I. I mean, granted, I... When it comes to a lot of books, I have a hard time understanding them at, at first glance until it, it requires me a lot of rereading. So, like, whenever we had to do, like, book reports in school, I would always struggle with those. And always, oh, my God, same. And, and I, hated, needed, I hated book reports. And always needed help with them because I would always struggle with understanding the material. Yep. Same. Same. This is why school is boring. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Hashtag Iris was right. Yes. <laughs> A lot of TV shows are right for that matter. Oh, true. All right. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can't think of anything else from Lily for what I don't or I do have in common. So I'm just going to move on to my next character. It's actually going to go to Brock. Oh, Brock. Okay. Like, Brock is a man of many talents, and... Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, um, although, one of those in, from, that I cannot do in, that he's good at is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cook for shit. <laughs> you too, huh? Like, I, I just either order out or just make something completely basic, like a, like a sandwich. <laughs> Otherwise, it's frozen dinners and leftover foods for me. I was my call. I can cook basic meals, but I'm like not. I don't think I'm as good as Brock. Yeah, like I, yeah. I would love, I would love to learn how to cook more meals someday. Because it's like, especially when I eventually have to move out, you know, it's kind of important. Yeah. 
Mm, yeah. And also so that I can... And also it would be nice because then I can cook myself pasta anytime I want. Pasta and mac and cheese is like the easiest meals to make. Yeah, true. Like, I'm just so afraid of like burning myself whenever I use a stove or an oven. I don't think you will. As kid me, who accidentally placed my fin his finger on the on a hot stove when I was a kid. Okay, but you're not a kid now. Obviously. <laughs> As a kid, we all do stupid stuff. Like, yeah. There was one somehow. time. There was okay. one time as a kid, I put my finger on a hot iron because I was like, "Oh, oh, a shiny thing!" <laughs> and I touched it, and I burnt my finger so bad. Yeah. And I was crying like for like two hours or something. Yeah. That's okay, but that's cool. nothing compared to what I endure as a little kid. What did you do? I would just bring opening a can of childhood trauma today. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I I accidentally um, you know those what is it called saunas? Okay. If you know what a sauna is, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, like inside of them, you have these stones that heats up them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I accidentally touched one of them because I thought, oh. Shiny stones. Oh my god. Then, oh my god. And then I got the best afterburn. Worst. Worst afterburn in my entire fucking life. Oh my, my god. god. That sounds so painful. Oh my god. It was. But I'm over it now. That's that was good. Like, that was like, I don't know, 20 years ago? Wow. Man. Memory still there. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, but where were we? Oh yeah, Kyle. Yeah, uh, and if, uh, getting back to Brock. Uh, much like uh, Brock, also tends to be the the comedic person of of a group, and I feel like I personally have a good sense of humor. Yeah. Just sometimes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 25% Kyle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kyle, you are 99% done. nerd, 1% humorous. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's a SpongeBob reference. Yes, I know. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. No, but Kyle, you are very funny. I agree. Thank you me. are funny. Thank you, guys. And also, no uh, I, I also tend to be uh, the supportive friend as well. Yeah, you definitely give off that vibe. <laughs> like, I, uh, I always try to walk in my friends with open arms and always try to offer my support for everybody. Yep. That's you. Yeah. And the last thing that I don't have in common with Brock is, of course, the farting. The simping. I don't for know. Other, other girls. I mean, yes, I simp for fictional characters, but... Not in real life. Obviously, like, <laughs> I would make myself I... like a dumbass if I ever tried to fart. And kind of a pervert, which you don't. <laughs> yeah, I just, kind of a creep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Because imagine, like, because imagine you going out to a pretty girl and be like, hey, I, I, I oh my god, it would be so embarrassing. <laughs> so cringy. It would be so embarrassing, so creepy, and just completely not me. Yeah. Plus, you don't flirt. You don't flirt. Like I said, I don't even dare to try to flirt, because if I did, I would make myself look stupid. <laughs> I can just picture Kyle with Brock's personality. God, please no, <laughs> I do not want that side of Brock. <laughs> <laughs> you be like going to a girl and be like, hey girl. Oh my god, no. That's, that's so cringe. 99% they will say, ew, get away from me, you creep. I mean, I mean, that would be a valid response. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? I don't blame them. Exactly. Yeah. I think even a guy would. I think even if you flirted with a guy too, they would also go like, 
What the fuck? Yeah, yeah because it, yeah, because it is kind of creepy to be honest. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we sim for fictional characters, so that's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In, in the group, style. Yep, the group that sims constantly for fictional characters. <laughs> but is single forever. <laughs> yes, so where's yes, so where's my daddy Juan and my Chatty M? <laughs> <laughs> where, where's where's Kyle Skyla? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hani's Dianfa? So true. You keep it all seriousness, though. <sighs> what? What? No, I was giving the point to Kyle. Oh, okay. Because oh. like we, we, were, we were both expecting you to yeah, say something like, else when you were saying. I was like waiting for you to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, they're great characters. Yeah. yeah. Brock is a great character. Yeah, even definitely. if he seems sucks, sucks ass, but I digress. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Brock, Kyle? Um, I don't think so. At least not that I can think of right now. I mean, there's always okay. chance, I mean, there's always the chance that I can think of something else as I'm in the middle of talking. Yeah. Yeah. Or, because uh, the last character, and this one's going to be a pretty ooh, quick mention, because right now I have also Go written down, too. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. And the, I should have written down Go, too, man. Why, the, the only, why, I only have one thing written down for Go, because it, this was, like, such a last-minute thing. Same goes for Brock. Like, I was in the middle of writing Brock stuff while, while Sam was talking. But, like, uh, the thing that I... Uh, one thing that I have written down for Go is, especially early on, I... He was depicted off as an introvert. Yeah. Especially when he was meeting Ash's classmates in the Lola. Oh, definitely. Introvert vibe. Oh, absolutely. Introvert vibe. We can all relate to that. Yep. And also, uh, this is not something I have written down, but like he just feels so inspired to reach his goals as well, no matter how far out they are. And I just find that definitely. more... Definitely. I find that more yeah. inspiring. Because, like, you know there's an end path... To whatever you're doing, I don't know. How, yeah, definitely. I don't know how much that made sense, but I'll roll with it. I get it. No, I'm not. I get it too. And also, uh, Go does not have a ton of friends, which is me as well. Oh my god, same. <laughs> <laughs> Can agree with that. Like, I only have like three IRL friends. That's it. Even even so, like my IRL friends kind of suck. Oops. You too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Like I always find, I always found online friends to be just more, I don't know, more, more friendlier, and seem like they they're actually interested in me. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Though. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, might as well have uh, Toss May as an honorable mention as well. Oh, okay. Because, <laughs> like, she, and like you guys said, she's also a, a, has a huge love for food, which I do too. Uh -huh. <laughs> which is ironic considering I am such a picky eater. Like, I have just not ton, I just don't, like, I have such a tiny internal menu. I feel like I'm a bit oversensitive to uh, what foods I like and don't like. Yeah, that's the opposite of me. I will eat anything as long as it's as long as uh, ugh, I can't talk. As long as it tastes good. Yeah, I agree with Hami. As long as it tastes good, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just unless like, um, unless it's dried fish and baked potatoes. You don't like baked potatoes? Sorry, I meant um, cooked potatoes. You don't like cooked potatoes? Right. When they're dried, no. Oh. oh okay. Okay. I guess I can because, it. because I get because I get annoying flashbacks from every Wednesday we served dried cooked potatoes with the most driest fish and the most generic white sauce imaginable. Oh, uh. so you want so you want at least some like 
some kind of gravy or flavor with it. Yes. No, I get that. I get that. Plain don't potatoes can be boring. Like, I love potatoes. Don't get me wrong. It's just... I, I love potatoes, too. Like, who doesn't yeah. like french fries? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, french fries. Mashed potatoes. Um, yes. Yeah, with potatoes. gravy. They have to be served uh, with gravy. Yes, please. Oh, my oh, God. I'm hungry. Need. I'm hungry now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it's just with me. Like, part of me is just I don't know. Like, part of me is just uh, like sensitive to like certain textures of certain foods, and also uh, just being afraid of like wasting time or money to actually get and make the food. Like, it's just it's, yeah, it, no, that's it, fair. It's a ton of silly mm -hmm. reasons. Because like, whenever <laughs> I eat something and I don't like it, I always feel so bad. Because I'm like, oh, I don't like this. Like, there are there have been plenty of times where I try to eat something, but I don't end up liking it. But, like, I don't want to say it directly to, to the face of whoever made it for me. Because That is a mood. Because, like, I... 100%. Because, like, a lot of the time, I would probably <laughs> even start crying because, like, I would, I would feel so bad for, like, wasting their time and money and resources to make this meal for me. Yeah, no, that yeah. is fair. No, I get what you're coming from. Kyle. And also, I just get so afraid of how my body's gonna react because, like, is this gonna make me sick or something? Or am I? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Or is this gonna have a, an allergen that I might not even know about? Like, it's just so many worries on the back of my head that, that I. Thankfully, just... thankfully, I don't have any allergies, so, like, <laughs> yeah, I can't relate to that. Yeah, I don't have any food allergies either, but, like, it's just. It's just always that backhand worry that something could always go wrong when I'm trying something new. Yeah, fair. Like it goes back to goes back to my point with uh, what I have in common with Lily. You know, if there are so many things that I would like to to just try out and see what I like, but like it's always that first time experience that gets you nervous as hell, and you just end up yeah. freak and you, and just end up freaking out a lot of the time. Yeah, I get that. Like, I, I think back to, oh god, what was, it was that one episode of Sun and Moon, um, oh god, uh, was it on, I think it was on, on Akiva, where, where the group was doing this, like, snowboard jump competition or something like that, because that was oh, when, that um... was when, that was when Snowy learned Aurora Veil. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I you know what you're getting from. That's the um, yeah, from that's the episode where they met the Alola Nine Tails. Yes, that's exactly what yes, I'm referring yes, to. Yes. And like when Lily was trying out, she got so scared, and I'm like, I relate to this because like, oh yeah, because like it gets like it's that first time like you don't know what's gonna happen, and like I have such a deep fear of the unknown that I. That that is very, very fair. Because I, I, yeah. So like, I always get nervous about like, even if I get reassured that everything's gonna be fine and I'm gonna be safe, like, I still get so nervous. But I still try to first through anyway, depending on how badly. Although it depends if I check it out or not. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm, I would still be open to trying new stuff. But like, I have to take it one small step at a time to make myself feel comfortable. Yeah. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with that. Yeah, and also, no, uh, and also just getting used to it. And uh, if it's like a a new TV show or like just developing like a, a new hobby, you gotta get used to having part of that mm -hmm. as a habit. Like when I when I got back into doing art, when I got Pokemon Art Academy on my 3DS uh, almost ten years ago, I had prior to that, I hadn't done a lot of drawing since school, even though I love drawing. But ever since I got Pokemon Art Academy on the 3DS, I was just so invested in doing digital art that I just did so many drawings. A lot of them are shit looking back, but like, it just shows my progress. And you know, I've it's all because I've gotten used to doing it so often and pushing myself to get be better. Honestly, like if you can recognize that something you've done in the past is bad, then that's honestly pretty good because then exactly what you said because you you. You show that you improved. Yeah, exactly. It's and the same goes for when it comes to my writing. Like when I started writing fan fictions when I was in high school, the, my first two, my first story was terrible. 
But remember, but remember this, Kyle. We all got to suck somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's, it's somewhere. not going to be pretty That's the first time. That's what she said. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, you're welcome. I hate you. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, but yeah, we, we all got to start somewhere, Kyle. Yeah, yeah it, it's not going to be the first go around. Yeah. And that's what self-improving is about. You suck in the first story, but as but you get gradually better as the time goes on. Yeah, because like if you were that's... like compare your earliest work to your latest, it's such a contrast. Absolutely. Sometimes you can even. Sometimes you can even have like a positive outlook and then look back and be like, well, okay, this kind of sucked, but um, yeah, maybe you get like a nostalgic feel to it. I'm just ranting, but like you get what I mean. It's yeah, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I can actually like show you guys an example of this of early earliest work versus latest, like. Because I still have uh, some of my drawings from uh, Pokemon Art Academy on my uh, from my 3DS on my computer. Um, oh, fuck! I don't have one of my latest pieces on my computer because it's all on my iPad. Damn it! Well, I can improvise because I have some notes. And that's okay. Like, um, what's a good example here? Here's the first time I drew full pics, and here's that's... my latest. That is definitely an improvement. But like, but like, even with your first one, I it's it's not even that bad to be honest. Yeah, I mean, who, who would call this terrible? Yeah, th that was uh from like 2018. Like, if I wanted to go back even further, <laughs> um, <laughs> here's a give me the cringe. Here's my first drawing of Dawn. I remember this. Oh yeah, I think I showed you that. Yeah. Um, I gotta go get my I have seen worse, Kyle. This is yeah. actually pretty good. This is not that bad. Yeah. Give me your purple heart for that. Oh, thank you. And then, no uh, problem. I just, had to go get my, I just had to go get my iPad because I had so many artists that I wanted to show. And then I compare that to my latest drawing of Dawn outside of the cover for my various fanfic. <clears throat> Yeah, even this is like night and day. Yep. Yeah, definitely. But like I, but like I said before, self improvement is important. Yep. And recognizing it too is equally as important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't need to show any examples because you guys get the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you have any more characters, um, Kyle? Um. Oh fuck! I don't know if I have anything else. Because uh, like there, there's just so many I can think of right off the bat, but like I can't nail it down to just one. Yeah. Because like with I'm just, I, just like trying yeah. to pick individual pieces from each character, or like what I did with just did with uh, with Go and May. Yeah, you know, I may not have a ton of written down for Go, or even have May written down at all. But like there are so many pe small pieces from these characters that I have so much in common that I. I feel like I should just give them a quick mention as opposed to like it does but regardless you get what I mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> um I do also uh, actually I do have one last mention okay now I think about it Chloe okay and go on and it's more of the fact that she's just so uncertain about her future and I'm just the same way like she, yeah, fair. Like she keeps trying stuff out to see you if this is something she would like to pursue or just something to be interested in, in general. And like that's that's one thing that I like about her character. She's so open to trying new things, even if she doesn't have this direct path set. Yeah. Granted, some people might find that all annoying of her character because she doesn't have a set path, but like. I first. Mean, I mean, neither did Lily, though. Yeah, like Lily did not even did not even have a set goal. No. Compared to Lana, Mao, and Kiawe. 
Yeah. And yet mm-hmm. she's still one of the best characters in the show. Absolutely. I don't know if I have anything else. Okay. Though. Okay. Okay, I have one. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit um out of left field, um, I'd say. All right, let's hear it. Okay, so Paul. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's hear it. So I think Paul, along with Go, is like one of the most. Well, at least he gives off that vibe. He's like one of the most introverted characters I've ever seen in the entire show. <laughs> like, like he just always wants to be alone. If you if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You get what you mean. And then, literally, whenever he talks to someone, like you don't see him talking much or really just engaged much in conversation and that's honestly a mood yeah that's me <laughs> so, too. so yeah yeah that's totally me as well especially when, I can I'm, see especially, my especially, especially when i'm hanging out with someone for the first time exactly because like i i don't know what i can really say because you know we're just me for the first time how are we gonna get the like how are we gonna get this off the off the ground like like whenever you see him interact with ash it's usually just him responding to ash or it usually has to rely on ash talking to him first right yeah because like that, Paul, is, Paul, that is paul that is a rare, very... paul rarely initiates a conversation exactly and that is so relatable <laughs> yeah. uh, and he also he also doesn't know how to express how he's feeling i guess that's also relatable in a sense. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has that resting bitch face, which I, mean, <laughs> I can develop myself identify as that. Yeah. <laughs> Paul just be like, don't talk to me. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> yeah. But, like, obviously, I'm not. Well, I'm talking about DP Paul, but I'm not heartless like him, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but in Jan Jan Paul, he's he's a softy now, so Yeah. Yeah. I have one more and that kinda relates to uh Kyle's point regarding bugs and that's Misty actually. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah, same. same here. I hate bugs. Yeah, same. And it's and and it's not just bees. It's like uh, in the summers when it gets really really hot, insects and spiders crawls into my window, and I hate it. Uh, oh. for, it's me, like, it's, for me, it's always been like stink bugs getting in, in the house, and I hate catching them. I don't even. I don't think I even tried to catch one. I always get my sister or parents to to get them for me because I'm afraid of touching them. No, no, it's like they they climb over the, either the roof or the window, and then they're stuck there. And you're and you're just thinking to yourself, is this thing gonna bite me? Oh my god! The worst one is when like you see a bug that's on the ceiling, and then yeah. this thought just comes in your head, and and you're like, what if this bug just drops on my face? Me, me. Absolutely. And that, I, I scream so loud if that happened. <laughs> oh my god, I... Every time I see one of them, I freak out. It's like, please don't come near me, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, actually, Misty, uh, was, Misty was right when she said that bugs are one of the most disgusting things in the world. In the world yeah. Actually, um, I, I have a story about that, actually. I have a story about that. I don't, I, I never got to okay. tell you guys about this, but like... Okay. Because okay. like, uh, this was um, going back to when I was in, on vacation in Harrisburg. So like... Uh, so like uh, we were we uh, we were we were in a restaurant one night, and then this giant ass bug just drops to the ground right near me. I'm like, what, what? are you? <laughs> I had no oh idea what it was. God. It was so freaking big. It was like the biggest bug. I've e- it was like the that's biggest. That's what she said. Shut up. It was like the biggest <laughs> bug I've ever seen. Turns out it was a spotted lanternfly. A what? A spotted lanternfly. They're considered an invasive species. 
What the hell? I've never heard of it. Let me Google this shit. What is it called? The spotted spotted lantern fly. Lantern. Spotted lantern. Oh my god. Yeah. Jesus. Effie. Yeah, they were. Ev they were. They're giant. Yeah, they were everywhere when uh, my family was in Pennsylvania. Which is weird because they're. I have not seen a single one here at home. So I guess it's more that's, down south. That's so weird. Yeah, but they, they, oh my god. I guess, like, no matter where, where we went, whether it be in downtown Harrisburg, at Hershey Park, at our hotel, we would always find those suckers. And, like, I had one, like, drop near me, and I'm like, can you please not? Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I didn't even know what they were prior to that trip. I didn't even know what they are until now. Me, too. The more you know, I guess. Yeah, they're the hashtag. The more you know. Yeah, they're pretty gross. I don't, <laughs> I don't like. To, I don't like touching bugs in general. <laughs> I just don't. I why just, did we just? Why did we quote John Cena? I don't know. Could you guys like be? I don't know. Or something? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I I just don't like touching bugs in general. Me neither. Me too. If I see them, I just want to catch them. Like, like that. Either can... that, or I just want to tell them, please leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like back in seventh grade, um, for science class, uh, we had to do these dissection projects, and I believe it was, uh, I believe I can't remember. I know one of them was dissecting the frog, but I don't think I, I don't remember if we also dissected a caterpillar. I think we did. Can I can I ask what is the point of dissecting a frog? Because I've never done that. I I guess it's I I think it's for bio biology, but I don't remember. Like 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 it's it's just like I don't know. I've always heard that being done, and I'm like, why? I don't yeah, like, get it. I, I I literally had to sit those projects out because I got I get grossed out so much whenever I see. Uh, the internals of of a body. What are... I don't want to see that either. It's so gross. It's so gross. Why did they Why did they make you guys do that? Ugh. It's disgusting. I... How is this gonna benefit me in life? <laughs> Unless you were gonna get into one of those fields. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I want. I don't want to be scarred as a fifteen year old. Thank you. Yeah. Like seriously. And I don't want to be uh, puking in the middle of the day because I saw the internals of a frog or a caterpillar. And like, I promise you, I do not care what the inside of this frog looks like. <laughs> I don't want to know what the insides are. I don't even want to see them. I, I don't care, Nater. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. Gonna bring this back again. And I cannot play at the clip because otherwise the audio will come through on the recording and I'll run the project and get copyrighted. Yeah, but Holland said it the best. <laughs> but yeah, Misty is so right when it comes to being afraid of bugs. Yep. You can't blame yeah, her. Nope. Yep. Plus, there are just a lot of bugs that are just straight up dangerous. Yeah, true. Some are even dangerous like, to the some, touch. Like, some caterpillars are even poisonous. Yeah, but that's what we want to be referring to. Yep. Like the last thing. Like what are the, the only last thing that I, I. Like what are the only sorry, bug that I would, like what are the only bug I do not be I do not mind being around are butterflies. That's it. Yeah, butterflies are cool. I really like butterflies, actually. They're pretty. Yeah, definitely. Butterflies like, are pretty to look at. Anything else? Um, though? Pfft, screw that. Yeah. yeah. Screw the caterpillars. The poisonous one, at least. Yeah. And screw those damn spiders and insects. Holy hell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hashtag Misty was right. <laughs> also, centipedes are fucking gross. I had one in my room, like, a couple months ago, and I was so grossed out. Oh, yeah. Did you scream hard? No, I'm just... I tried I so hard to get it out, and eventually I did, but after, like, a few hours. <laughs> yeah. Like, whenever I, I see a bug, or just any kind of, like, a spider or something just dropping, I'm like, you are an intruder. 
prepare to die. Intruder alert. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh my like, god. Like, like with most bugs, unless it's a stink bug, I'll, I just squish them. Oh my god, like the worst, the worst one from me are cockroaches. Especially oh. the ones that can freaking fly. Yeah, that that those are the, do those are not nasty. remind me of cockroaches, honey. I will just literally burn the house down. I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. They ain't that a mood. Yeah. Cause like a cockroach is fine, but a flying one, hell no. More well, like, more like can... fuck no. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Like, they're harmless, but, like, they're so freaking freaky. I do not they're, want to see you fly. They're just so you are gross. Not, you are not Batman. You, deserve, you belong on the floor. <laughs> Me with stink bugs, though, like, I always see them, like, every week, and I always get nervous when I hear one flying around, because I'm like, it always makes me think that there's a bee in the house, because they buzz so similarly. But, like, they like the hog around the, around the light sources. And like I can't really I can't squish them because otherwise they'll produce that horrible smell if when you do squish them, hence the name stink bug. Yeah, best thing is to just get them out of the house. Yeah. Misty, you were right. Misty, you were right. <laughs> Hashtag Misty was right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've talked about every character. <laughs> Um, no, not Silent. Yeah, we didn't oh, talk right, about Silent. Oh, right, yeah. I don't think any of us had Silent written down. Nope. I didn't. Although, I will say about Silent, he hates haunted places, and I do too. <laughs> Same. Like, also, Silent is a fan of puns, and we all like puns. Especially me. <laughs> yes, yep. you especially. I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, but the best accurate description for Silent is this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <It trains. laughs> yep. So true. <laughs> And that's why we still love you, Silent. Please come back to the show. Oh my god. Maybe in the next series. Whatever the next series is going to be, but that's a story for another day. Yep. Yep. Um, wow, uh, that was like... I didn't think we were going on as big of a tangent about that as we did. Oh my god, same. I thought this episode was going to be well, short. We, we, we went on such a rant about bugs. Because <laughs> <laughs> bugs sucks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? Yes. All right. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to add before we close? Um, Not really. Hashtag, hashtag Misty was right. Hashtag Iris was right. <laughs> Writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. I think that is going to wrap things up then. Well, thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, through it all, we're still a family. Watch the family.